Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent a, me this picture and asked how to draw that or something similar. I'm pretty close. Few simple, easy steps, kind of. We're going to start with an ellipse and we're going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to move this up. Whoop. I've given away my secrets there. <clears throat> now we're going to make this red. And then I'm going to hold down the control button and I'm going to make a little black to it, kind of make that maroon. I'm just clicking my mouse. I'm going to take away the outline. This thing is over eight inches. I'm going to set my nudge factor on nine. I'm going to control D or hit the plus key on the keyboard. And I'm going to make that a gray. And I'm going to hold down the shift key and grow it. Now what I'm going to do is go to effects and blur and gussy and blur. And we want to blur it pretty good. Quite a bit. There we go. Now let's try nudging this back. Go up to object, order, back a page. Sometimes it, lately that's been happening and you have to go again. So now you've got that, I might have a little bit too much shadow or too much. So if we grab that, I can hold down the shift key and make it a little bit less. Now, nudge that shadow out of the way. You don't want to mess with it. We want to make a duplicate of this. Tell you what, I'm going to move that out of the way. Make a duplicate of that and nudge it to the left. And now I'm going to left click, right click, doesn't matter what color. And we're going to draw these lines. Uh, several ways you could draw the lines. I'm thinking about, I'm going, to, I'm going to nudge this out of the way twice. And maybe the easiest way to draw the line to make them perfect would be to hit the keyboard, a plus key. And let's set our nudge factor on like 0.125. And then let's make a duplicate, control D, move it over. Let's see how that's going to look. No, nope, that's not going to work. It's going to mess up our, um, I was just trying a different way. So let's grab the two point curve line and go from right there to about the, matter of fact, go past the page. Because it's hard to make a duplicate of that line perfectly. Let's control D and make a duplicate and then just kind of try to move it and try to make it equal all the way across. Now we're going to select both those lines. I'm going to go to effects and blend. I'm going to blend them three times. I don't know how many lines are in the original, <clears throat> but that'll work. Now what I'm going to do is go to object, break the blend apart, and go ahead and go to object and ungroup them. Now we can take the virtual segment delete key and delete that excess line. Now you want to do this prior to what I'm going to do toward the end uh, using the interactive field tool so it won't mess us up because it'll mess up the interactive field tool. I'm going to take an ellipse so we can see our lines because we're going to make them white. I'm going to make this box blue, go to object, order, back a page, and now you can see our lines. We're going to make the lines white. I'm going to move my box down a little bit so I can just grab the lines. I'm going to make them white. Well, white. Huh. Go up and let's make them like 16 points big or whatever, you know, whatever you feel you're comfortable with. Now the center line, I think the original might have had more lines, but you get the idea. Yeah, it had more lines. So we're going to leave the center line alone. We're going to grab that line. We're going to hit F12 on the keyboard, and we're going to give it this bottom dash line. And the reason I say bottom dash is so we can do the exact one on this one because it's hard to see. Now the outer two, we're going to hit F12, and we're going to kind of get of a dot. That'll work. And then you just need to kind of figure out which dot you used. That's the only thing I don't wish Corel would make this dialog bigger. Now we can let's bring uh, this back over. Whoop. So I hit it twice. I'm going to hit it back. 
because I need to change my nudge factor to back to eight. And I must have really messed it up. So, you know, we know that we were working in the center of the page, so I'm going to hit P. Now I can move, and hopefully this will still, wow, I messed up there. But let's do this. Let's uh, control G to group that together and hit P. There we go. Now, we can move that out of the way. You can't really see those lines. I shouldn't have got rid of my box, but that'll work. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna nudge it over again. I'm gonna take this one, get to the interactive fill tool and just wipe across a little bit, grab the elliptical and make just a little bitty dot. And now we put it, nudge it back over. We're in the same order. And then nudge, I'm gonna take away the outline in just a second. I can't take away the outline because it's part of the drawing. I need to take away this. Uh, tell you what, let me use the blue box trick so we can see those white lines. We need to get red. You know what? It's grouped together. That's part of what it is. Let's select them both, all everything, go up to object and ungroup it and then grab this ellipse and hit delete. There we go. Now I'd go ahead and group those together, control G and nudge them over. And there you have it. Uh, pretty cool. They had a few more lines in theirs, but that could easily be done. Looks pretty close. One thing I do like about this, you could always go back to the interactive fill tool and grab that dot and make that dot just a smaller. Now we need to make that shadow. That shadow is nothing special. Uh, just make it a lips, not holding down the control button. Make it a gray. Right click, no outline. Go up to effects, blur, gussy and blur. And just blur it a little bit. And then you could still make it bigger if you wanted. And you could have less blur. Just all depends on what you want. And if you look that that white dot is like where the light's coming from. So the shadow is below it. So you could put that shadow wherever you wanted to on it. But you'd have to go object order back a page to put it behind the ball. Anyway, I hope that helped that person a little bit. Pretty interesting drawing. Thank you for watching.